Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. It's a quiet day on the emulation front, but we've got some other stuff to talk about, including emulation devices. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with some news that got a lot of people talking today, and that was Windows on handheld devices. This news came from a hackathon that was held back in September of 2022 from Microsoft. I got a few messages from people who were really excited about Microsoft potentially making a handheld version of Windows. Unfortunately though, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case here. The creator of that hackathon presentation posted on Reddit that Microsoft really didn't give it any traction and they were hoping it was going to get some traction. So maybe in the future we might see something, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Moving on, and we're talking about the SNES, specifically a ROM hack for it. If you're a fan of action games, you might be a fan of GoGo -Go Ackman 2, even if you've never played it before or never even heard about it before. There's a brand new update for this ROM hack, and it fixes some translation stuff and some bugs. The game does work on BSNES, it works on Mezzan and actual real hardware. I'm pretty sure we've talked about this game in the past, but if you are curious about it, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. It does look pretty interesting. Next up here, we're talking about a brand new handheld, and one we've talked about on the channel before, the Pow Kitty X28. Pre-orders for this device are now live, it's priced at 150 bucks. It starts shipping on May 10th, and it's limited to 200 units. I can actually agree with the limitation here, considering that's what they can manufacture and ship. I'd prefer that to taking open pre-orders, sitting on the pre-orders forever before actually hearing anything from the company. As a quick refresher here, this device has a Unisoc T618 CPU with a Mali G52 GPU. It's got 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage. In terms of emulation, they claim here everything up to GameCube, but I'm willing to bet this might struggle with some GameCube games. So in my opinion here, anything from PlayStation and lower should be absolutely fine on the device, and some GameCube stuff. And speaking about a device that's probably not going to struggle with emulation, Asus just unveiled the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate today. It's not going to be cheap, pricing starts at $999 US dollars. It features a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and 16 gigs of RAM. Apparently it's going to have 512 gigs of onboard storage and this pretty cool cooler, which features LEDs and actual buttons on it. In terms of the pricing, I have no idea if the 999 applies to the ultimate version of this phone or a different version altogether, as Zeus has been kind of cryptic. On a side note, the cooler does have a headphone jack, a USB-C port, and a kickstand, and I'm not sure if it's actually included in the ultimate package. But if it is, this would be a very interesting phone for emulation and gaming. But on a quick side note here, if you're picking up the phone specifically for gaming and you don't care about cameras or really anything else, the Red Magic 8 Pro might be a better way to go, or at least a cheaper way to go. It still features 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But you can pick it up for a few hundred dollars cheaper. And speaking about cheaper, even cheaper, last up here we're talking about OnePlus. It looks like the launch of the Nord 3 might be pretty soon, in 6 to 8 weeks from now. Apparently they're testing it in India in global markets, it's going to feature a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 CPU. We don't know the RAM, we don't know the storage, and it looks like the price will be between 350 to 450 US dollars, give or take. In terms of emulation, I'd say some PS2, some GameCube, and possibly even some Switch. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a few things today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.